Hey everyone, today I'm going to teach you how to bash an Irelia skull. So, for first item, you can see I'm thinking, and ultimately I decide to choose Doran's Blade, because uh, I want to actually cheese her level 1. Uh, this lane is actually pretty volatile, but it is very heavily set uh, favored, and I do like it a lot. Uh, you really only lose this lane early game if you give Irelia like the space to get her three stacks on her minions, uh, on your frontline minions, so you really don't want to leash in this matchup. So as you can see, we're pouring on the pressure from the start, uh, standing in the bush, and this works against almost all Irelias. I mean, I'm playing against what, a Master Grandmaster Irelia here, even she doesn't know. Uh, so you stand in this farthest bush, and then she'll walk up, and then you just, you want to stay behind, like further behind the minion so you don't take minion aggro, and then you just start hitting her. And then now she's already out of the lane, her lane is over now. Uh, and then yeah, if I, I don't take the first three minions because I don't want her to walk back up and get XP, I, I let her get one here because uh, the minions were a bit weird because I took some aggro. But ideally, you want her to miss everything. Uh, however, because of a really good trade I got, I can actually push her off more minions here. So you can see in the back, uh, like she just lost another 2 minion XP. And so all of this is worth for me because early game XP is super impactful. So now I hit only level 2, she can do absolutely nothing for like the next 3 minutes. It's incredible. As you can see here, uh, I really is forced to let me slow push this towards her. Uh, she has to miss tons of minions uh, while this is happening. And then after I drop the wave, I have a free roam timer, uh, which I used to put in this deep ward. And I like this ward a lot because it catches junglers that can't hop over walls uh, going through the river, trying to get their scuttle crab. You know, uh, we catch a briar on the way up. I just, I just knew she was coming. <laughs> uh, and so that's a good ward. Uh, unfortunately, it got caught though so soon. <laughs> but it, it spotted out briar, so now I'm safe uh, in this lane knowing that briar is topside, right? And I decide to choose. I, I decide to play safer. I, I'm standing back, expecting her to come gank. But I also know in the back of my mind that if uh, Briar comes and I'm full HP, I can actually one v two them as set uh, in this state of the game. And uh, this is where Irelia makes a fatal mistake. Uh, as you can see, she's slow pushing the lane towards me, and she wants to crash a wave to get a reset, uh, like I did earlier, where, uh, where I, instead of uh, putting a ward down, she wants to start uh, reset the lane. Uh, but I obviously don't let her do that. And she, she sees this and she has to stop her back, because otherwise she'll lose like two waves of XP and gold. Uh, and with that, I just I just freeze it here in front of my tower, and she has there's nothing she can do. If she walks too far up, I can kill her. And that's exactly what happens here, watch. Oh, there we go. And I W her through her W. And this is where the lane becomes a complete nightmare for Irelia. I, I have... 1300 gold on my back, I leave it, I leave the wave frozen, and I'm going to come back to a frozen wave. Just look at this, it's horrible for her, and it's amazing for me. Okay, now this right here is what you want to see on every back if you can. Uh, the, wave, the wave is still frozen, uh, Irelia is forced back into this position that she just died in, and if she walks up, I will just chunk her out, and she won't be able to leave again. It's, <laughs> it's so unplayable for her. I think I misplay a little here. Uh, where I could have killed her if I played it better. Uh, maybe if I ulted her into tower. But, uh... <laughs> but it doesn't matter, because at this point, she's basically dead. Uh, and freeze is maintained. <laughs> and you can hear myself. The freeze is maintained. The freeze stays. You cannot play the game. The freeze goes nowhere. I'm actually regening faster than her. I have refillable pots. And if she resets, she's doomed. This is just how it is now, my guy. I'm sorry. If she, like, so, so she just reset, <laughs> and now her she might as well have just died for the wave. Uh, as I'm recording this, I'm just now finding out that my fan was on the whole time. I put on uh, some uh, noise remover for the previous clips, uh, but uh, yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> uh, the audio quality should be a bit better now. Uh, anyways, uh, back to the game. Uh, this uh, lane is still frozen. She just uh, reset, which means she lost a full wave, and then she just she dares to come back with just an extra cloud armor. And uh, yeah, I keep the wave frozen. And if she ever walks up, I just punish her. And I mean, that's the rest of the lane for her. She, there's nothing she can do. Yo, what the hell? So from this point on, I just freeze the wave until Irelia decides she's had enough, and so she walks up, and I punish her for it. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, 
<laughs> so Jover. So again, I crash a large wave, hoping I can get back in time and uh, catch the wave, but I actually don't, because uh, I didn't buy boots, I think. And uh, so yeah, unfortunately this wave doesn't freeze, but I can slow push it, uh, which still denies as much XP as possible, given the fact that it is slow pushing towards her. Uh, XP and CS. So at this point, the wave has slow pushed into her, and I have to decide whether I want to dive her or not. I have no vision of the jungle, so I just get the plate, and then I walk up. And then I put a ward down. So now I have the I push in the next wave now, because Kane is waiting in the tri bush, uh, looking to dive. Uh, unfortunately, Briar actually lands her <laughs> on the Kane, Sun Kane, and he dies. But uh, it's actually worked, because I one shot the Briar, and then I push out, because I really have someone to fight me. And it's actually worth it, because uh, Briar was actually worth gold. <laughs> So, you know, that works out. So, Aurelia acts a little weird. She decides to start pushing up, so I just assume I'm getting ganked and I walk back. He's so up, what the fuck, man? I just did three copies. Aurelia decides to all in me here. I'm assuming because Briar is here, and it doesn't work out very well for them. So after pushing in top lane, I decide to go bot and uh, get some gold uh, for a second item. And then now I back exactly as uh, Dragon's about to spawn. And then my mid jungle decides that now is actually the perfect time to die. <laughs> Fast forward a few seconds and my support also dies. Uh, just in time for Ari to TP back, but we still don't have our jungle. So it's a 4v5. Luckily, I have two items and I just, we just kill everyone. <laughs> Play's not over yet. I spot out the Sivir when he throws the Q1. And because I'm lower and I have Shojins and Stridebreaker, I just run her down. <laughs> I take a second to heal up, and of course we end up getting the dragon. <laughs> Here on out. Uh, the game just slowly ends uh, with a couple bonks here and there, and I'll show them to you. <laughs> and uh, before I, you know, stop talking, I just want to note that uh, this is part one uh, of how to beat Irelia, because uh, recently I got the chance to play against the top, uh, the number one Irelia in North America uh, in Challenger, and uh, used much of the same, uh, you know, skills here. Uh, to beat her into the ground. So yeah, we'll see. Uh, you'll, you'll stay tuned <laughs> and uh, see you there. <laughs> okay. Alright, it's a bit of a Thanos snap game for me. Five thousand words. 